Welcome my friends, tonight I'll be reading from the Disney Storybook Collection The story that I'll be reading is called The Hunchback of Notre Dame Set in the beautiful Paris I hope you enjoy it Long, long ago in the city of Paris, a young strange-looking man lived in the bell tower of the great cathedral of Notre Dame. He was the bell ringer, Cousemimodo. His name meant half-formed, and had been given to him by his cruel master, Judge Claude Frollo. Cousemimodo's only friends were the stone gargoyles that decorated the cathedral. Cusimodo longed to walk in the city below his tower prison, but Frollo forbade it. He was a mean man who hated everything and everyone, especially gypsies. He had even convinced gentle Cusimodo that he was a monster and that terrible things would happen if he went out among the people. Once a year, all of Paris prepared for a great festival. On that day, known as the Festival of Fools, the people paraded around the city dressed in masks, hoping to be crowned the King of Fools. The gargoyles told Cusimodo that this year he must attend the festival. Everyone was so busy having fun that no one noticed a poor bell ringer wandering around. He met the dancing gypsy Esmeralda and thought she was beautiful. So did... Phoebus, Frollo's new captain of the guard who rode into Paris that same day. When Cosimoda was crowned king of fools, the people laughed. They threw ropes over him to hold him down. Frollo would not rescue Cosimodo, but Esmeralda ran to cut Cosimodo free. Frollo was enraged. He ordered Phobos to arrest her. But Esmeralda and her green goat, Jolly, ran into the cathedral where she knew she would be safe. Frollo's soldiers could not touch her when she was inside, but Frollo warned her, Set one foot outside these walls and you're my prisoner. Cusimodo did not understand. He believed that all gypsies were bad. But Esmeralda was good and kind and gentle. His master had been wrong. Maybe Frollo had been wrong about him too. Maybe he wasn't the monster. Cosimo decided to help his brother escape. He carried her and Jelly down the side of the cathedral. When they got to the street, she gave him a special amulet to keep. Use this if you ever need help, she explained. It will let you it will lead you to the court of miracles where you can find me. Then, promising to visit him soon, Esmeralda vanished. Meanwhile, Bo was convinced Esmeralda that he was on her side, not Frollo's. When Phoebus refused to do the judge's bidding, Frollo turned on the captain and ordered his soldiers to kill him. The injured Phoebus managed to escape with Esmeralda's help. She took him to Cosimodo in the bell tower and asked him to hide Phoebus for her. Cosimodo sadly agreed, for he could see that the two were in love. Soon Frollo came to the bell tower, hoping to trick Cosimodo into telling him where Esmeralda was hiding. He convinced Cosimodo that he already knew about the gypsy's hideout, the court of miracles, and planned to attack at dawn. 
Quasimodo and Phoebus set out to warn Esmeralda about Frollo's plans. Using the amulet, they found their way to the court of miracles. They did not realize something very important. They were leading Frollo and his soldiers there as well. Take them away, Frollo cried. They were all his prisoners now. But chains could not hold the determined bell ringer. Kusimodo escaped and rescued Esmeralda. Phoebus, the gypsies, Kusimodo, and the gargoyles fought bravely against Frollo and his soldiers. When the battle was over, the trio walked out of the cathedral and into the sunlight smile. Kusimodo was cheered by the crowd. The bell ringer, who once thought he was a monster, was now a great hero. Thank you, my friends, for listening to tonight's story. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and leave me a comment. Until next time, bisous!